So we're back again and I have to have a sock and my hand on this new microphone just because for some other reason only when I'm outside it makes a weird high pitch noise. So I'm very very excited for this episode just because I wrapped up a big part of the prologue in the last devlog and I think I'm a little bit over it by now so I'm going to move on to building the house. So we're going to start off in the courtyard where this person arrives. I'm going to try and make this courtyard as realistic as humanly possible. And and I'm so excited for it just because it's going to allow me to play around with Unreal Engine. It's going to allow me to play around with the materials, the lighting, um, just the general assets that I can get for free. And I just want to see if I can get a realistic scene composition going. I'm going to be consulting references and from there on I will be fleshing out the scene. Remember this is my old childhood home and I am going to try and replicate it. I think this is going to be a long one so grab a drink, go to the bathroom, sit back and relax. And uh, without further ado, let's get to it. So I'm starting off with just going in and ripping the walls apart. So in Blender, I'm going into every single asset, splitting it out. And uh, this is taking quite a bit of time, but it is so worth it just because it's just going to save me so much time in the future. Just to recap, this game is a puzzle adventure game and this house is the main setting for it. So I need to pay special attention to make sure that this is absolutely right. I'm going for utter realism here. It's getting pretty late now, I've probably put about 8 hours of work in today, I'm getting tired, I think I'm going to call it a night, and uh, I'll pick it up again in the morning. I just woke up but first I have to go to work. Uh, I have a full-time work that I'm fortunate enough to really like. Uh, so I'm going to just finish up there, head back this afternoon. So we left off with me doing some modeling in Blender. I'm going to move over now to Unreal Engine and I think I'm going to start with setting up the landscape. This plays off on a property that's about 50 by 50 meters so I don't think I have to worry too much about the landscape and then once I'm done there I'll start pulling in the models and composing the scene. I'm really excited about it but I will pick it up again this afternoon. <laughs> Okay, let's go! Okay, so basically at this point, I have a decent looking courtyard scene. I've pulled in the walls, I have created the terrain, and I think it's starting to look pretty cool. I'm just not so happy about uh, like the ground. I still have to figure out how I'm going to integrate that grass texture with the tiles. I did read up something about virtual textures that would allow you to kind of blend between the landscape material and the Quixel Megascan materials. It sounds pretty promising. I'm probably going to have a look at that later, but for now, I'm just going to continue fleshing out the scene. So now the scene is starting to look really, really nice. And um, now I think I'm going to start looking at these virtual textures things. So what are virtual textures? I've got no idea. Uh, so let's do a little bit of reading, I guess. Huh? Virtual texturing. I've got a better idea. Let's ask ChatGPT. <laughs> it is sinking about it. Unreal Engine virtual textures are a feature of the Unreal Engine game development platform that enable large detailed textures to be used in real-time games without sacrificing performance or reducing excessive amounts of memory. Uh, virtual texture blending. Unreal Engine 5. Boom, boom, boom. Oh yes, it's this guy. He's uh, quite a friendly face. I think I'll be able to hook up this auto landscape material to the virtual textures and then map it across to my mega scan materials. At least that's what it looks like. Let's see what happens. Let's go. So 
So that's been an extremely productive three hours. I have some people coming over, so unfortunately I will have to call it for the day. I am cooking food and I'm rather excited, I'm not gonna lie. I think I'm gonna move on to get some sort of render of this scene so that I can show people what this would look like in game. I'm quite excited about that. And I'm really happy with how it looks now. I think we're edging closer and closer to realism and hopefully by the end of this we'll get there. So check you in the morning. Also my back is starting to hurt because I've been spending far too much time in front of the computer so I think I might pick up yoga or some other weird hippie shit. Let's see how that goes. Hello, hello. Check in, check in, check in, check, 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 check. Hello, hello, hello. So today is a very, very good day just because it is Friday and I've got absolutely no plans. So you know what that means? It means game development until I become one with my chair. So looking again at this project, I can see that it's still not there. It's too clean, way too clean. So I remember seeing this abandoned apartment project that that's free on the Epic Marketplace. So I'm going to download that and see if there's any assets that I can use. I also want to see how they've done the lighting to make it look super realistic. So I think that's what I'm going to do next now. And I am going to just focus on getting some um, more greenery and more diverse foliage in the scene. Okay, so I found these vine assets within the abandoned apartment demo, and I think that could look really, really cool on the walls outside. Just to fill it out a bit more, um, I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna just look at a couple of references to see how these things actually grow. So let's get going. Okay, so I'm at a really, really cool space now where it's kind of starting to look cool. So I can see that the vines are actually working. It's filling out the walls. And um, what I've also done is the reason I can have this much foliage in a single scene. And remember, this is not just going to be the courtyard. This is going to be the entire house that's going to be filled with thousands of assets is that I keep on enabling Nanite on these assets because foliage supports Nanite in Unreal Engine 5.1, which is extremely cool. And also I'm enabling wind effects on this so that it isn't just static leaves. It actually moves in the wind and it is so cool. I am getting so excited. I'm just going to flesh out this entire scene. I'm going to fill up the walls. I'm just going to take off these headphones because they are irritating me. So what I'm going to do next is I really want to play around in Substance Painter. Um, I see I can get a free trial for a month. So I'm going to try and do as much as possible in that month. But before I do so, I think I'm going to first have to uh, look at a couple of tutorials. There's some great learning material on Substance Beta on YouTube. I'm going to work through that and then I'm going to start with my walls and then let's see what that looks like. Okay, so first impressions is that this thing is so cool. I know like I get super excited when I start with new software, but this thing is just mind blowing. So you are able to work in a layered fashion, just like if you use Photoshop or something like that. And you can just like add, keep on adding these things and adding masks. So you can like create these paint peel effects. And a, a lot of the stuff has been done for you. So you can use these generators to actually create like paint chipping off automatically. So. Um, I'm going to just continue through this thing and then I'm going to start with my wall. I'm quite excited about that. Um, I'm going to do this wall. It's like kind of a cement paint that's almost like yellow mustard color. And then there was, I remember as a child, there was this water stains dripping down these green kind of mossy water stains that I'm going to try and replicate. So um, I'm thinking at this point in time, I'm just going to hand paint it, but uh, maybe there's a better way to do so. So um, let's play around. <laughs> OK, 
guys so this point i have uh everything in my game i've got my textures applied what i have noticed is the textures are quite low resolution i think it's because i need to split my meshes up even further so this garage mesh specifically isn't split up into walls yet so i think i'm going to do that but for now it looks pretty cool so i think i'm going to do the other wall now <laughs> Okay, so I've just started cooking food, making fish and chips, which I'm quite excited about. What I've done now is I have textured the other wall. I've actually taken a different approach. I decided that I'm gonna go and I'm going to create a dripping effect using a brush in Substance Beta, which is really cool. It allows you to create this rain dripping effect with a certain color, and it looks really, really cool. So I've imported that into the game, and now I think I'm ready to render the scene out. So once I've used the deferred renderer, I got a very, very decent result. I don't think it's 100% there yet. So uh, that's it for this video. Thank you so much for watching. It's been an absolute pleasure pleasure to make this one albeit long uh, thank you for sticking around and as always happy game development and i will see you in the next one